na taarifa inayofuata mtazamaji wangu ni ya kuvunja moyo ambapo familia ya marehemu Seth Nyakio mwenye umri wa miaka ishirini na mitatu inawataka maafisa wa DCI kuharakisha upelelezi wa mauaji yake familia hiyo inasema kesi nyingi zinazohusisha vifo vya wasichana zimelegea na hii huende kama sababu kuu ya visa hivyo kuendelea kuongezeka Seth alikuwa mwana wa pekee wa mwakilishi wadi wa Kirinyaga Lucy Njeri Helen Aura anarifu Dewi la Simanzi lilitanda katika ibada ya wafu ya marehemu Seth Nyakio Njeri. Familia hii bado inatafuta majibu kuhusiana na mauaji ya binti yao. The problem we are having is that the homicide cases are too many. If you go you do a research in Fika, there is no case that has ever been been uh, been finished. I mean has never been uh, I, uh, I, uh, execute, executed and that is the problem we are having because the more we are piling up homicide cases the more these culprits and perpetrators are walking scot free on the road and the more they are continuing doing these crimes and the proceeds they are getting from these crimes probably they are compromising with the with the with the people who are supposed even to do to do the action so i would urge the government to ensure that homicide cases are given priority mwili wa seth mwenye miaka 23 ulipatikana jumatatu tarehe 14 oktoba na rafiki yake katika chumba kimoja eneo la biafra thika ukaguzi wa mwili huo ulionyesha seth alinyongwa alikuwa mtoto mzuri alikuwa yuasikiza wazazi wake alikuwa mtoto mshangamfu na hakuwa na vita na mtoto na mtu yeyote i would request our youths one to take care of themselves wherever they are whether they are in school whether they are working so that we don't uh, experience such i would also ask the parents to counsel their uh, children properly Mamake Nyakio Lucy Njeri anasema maafisa wa DCI sasa wameanza upelelezi wa kesi hiyo na mshukiwa mmoja aliyedaiwa kumuita Seth kwenye sherehe kabla ya kuuawa kwake anaendelea kuhojiwa. Na Seth Nyakio alikuanga mshika wetu katika kundi la vijana kwa kanisa. Alikuwa mkakamafu kwa imani na pia alikuwa mpenda maendeleo sana. Misa itaandaliwa tarehe 29 Oktoba katika kanisa Katoliki la St. Camillus Kiambu. Helen Aura NTV.